Judges 5, New Living Translation On that day Deborah and Barak, son of Abinoam, sang this song. Israel's leaders took charge, and the people gladly followed. Praise the Lord. Listen, you kings, pay attention, you mighty rulers, for I will sing to the Lord. I will make music to the Lord, the God of Israel. Lord, when you set out from Seir and marched across the fields of Edom, the earth trembled, and the cloudy skies poured down like rain. The mountains quaked in the presence of the Lord, the God of Mount Sinai, in the presence of the Lord, the God of Israel. In the days of Shamgar, son of Anath, and in the days of Jael, people avoided the main roads, and travelers stayed on winding pathways. There were few people left in the villages of Israel until Deborah arose as a mother for Israel. When Israel chose new gods, war erupted at the city gates. Yet not a shield or spear could be seen among 40,000 warriors in Israel. My heart is with the commanders of Israel, with those who volunteered for war. Praise the Lord. Consider this, you who ride on fine donkeys, you who sit on fancy saddle blankets, and you who walk along the road. Listen to the village musicians gathered at the watering holes. They recount the righteous victories of the Lord and the victories of his villagers in Israel. Then the people of the Lord marched down to the city gates. Wake up, Deborah, wake up, wake up, wake up and sing a song. Arise, Barak, lead your captives away, son of Abinoam. Down from Tabor marched the few against the nobles. The people of the Lord marched down against mighty warriors. They came down from Ephraim, a land that once belonged to the Am Amalekites. They followed you, Benjamin, with your troops. From Makir the commanders marched down. From Zebulun came those who carry a commander's staff. The princess of, it, princes of Issachar were with Deborah and Barak. They followed Barak, rushing into the valley. But in the tribe of Reuben there was great indecision. Why did you sit at home among the sheepfolds to hear the shepherds whistle for their flocks? Yes, in the tribe of Reuben there was great indecision. Gilead remained east of the Jordan, and why did Dan stay home? Asher sat unmoved at the seashore, remaining in his harbors. But Zebulun risked his life, as did Naphtali, on the heights of the battlefield. The kings of Canaan came and fought at Taanach near Megiddo Springs, but they carried off no silver treasures. The stars fought from heaven. The stars in their orbits fought against Sisera. The Kishon River swept them away, that ancient torrent, the Kishon. March on with courage, my soul. Then the horse's hooves hammered the ground, the galloping, galloping of Sisera's mighty steeds. Let the people of Miraz be cursed, said the angel of the Lord. Let them be utterly cursed, because they did not come to help the Lord, to help the Lord against the mighty warriors. Most blessed among women is Jael, the wife of Heber the Kenite. May she be blessed above all women who live in tents. Sisera asked for water, and she gave him milk and a bowl fit for nobles. She brought him yogurt. Then with her left hand she reached for a tent peg, and with her right hand for the workman's hammer. She struck Sisera with the hammer, crushing his head with a shattering blow. She pierced his temples. He sank. He fell. He lay still at her feet. And where he sank, there he died. From the window, Sisera's mother looked out. Through the window she watched for his return, saying, Why is his chariot so long in coming? Why don't we hear the sound of chariot wheels? Her wise women answer, and she repeats these words to herself. They must be dividing the captured plunder with a woman or two for every man. There will be colorful robes for Sisera and colorful embroidered robes for me. Yes, the plunder will include colorful robes embroidered on both sides. Lord, may all your enemies die like Sisera, but may those who love you rise like the sun in all its power. Then there was peace in the land for forty years.